So, we're back with the iPhone 5s once again, and it's in this beautiful gold finish, but we're looking at this phone in 2022, almost nine years after this phone came out. It's crazy to believe that that many years have passed by since this phone was released, but I wanted to use this phone in 2022 to see what type of things are still working on this device. And in order to do that, we had to make sure this video was as realistic as possible, so this phone is still running iOS 7 and I just want to give a quick shout out when Apple released iOS 7 in 2013 It was a huge deal like everyone was tweeting about this It was a really big update for Apple and it's kind of crazy because a lot of phones today Like a lot of iPhones today are kind of based on the same elements that iOS 7 had But back to the 5s so using this phone almost nine years later made me realize that the 5s is honestly a really important phone If you think about it, this was the first ever iPhone to have a Touch ID sensor, and the Touch ID sensor has still kind of stuck around. I mean, they might be bringing it back to future iPhones. This iPhone was also super small, so it was easy to use with one hand. You didn't have to worry about the phone slipping out of your hand or anything like that. And I just loved how easily everything was integrated with iOS 7. And one of the things that I realized is that using this phone today, everything just seems a lot familiar. I feel like if you handed someone an iPhone 5 on iOS 6, and you compared it against this, it would be a completely different experience. And that's simply because the software was so different. But I still like this phone a lot. I kind of do enjoy using this phone. Um, obviously, this phone is not going to be useful for everyday apps. I did download a couple apps to try it out here in today's video. So I downloaded Instagram, for example. And as you guys can see, it is running an outdated version of Instagram. So it's very, very old. But... Um, it's pretty nice to look back at. I mean, we didn't have stories back in the day. Uh, we also had direct messages, but we could only send photos to other people, so you couldn't actually send a message. But it's still pretty cool to see that some of these old apps are still working to this day. Now, would I recommend this phone in 2022? Probably not, simply because the app support just isn't the best. Even if you update this phone to its latest software, which I think is iOS 12, you probably still won't have a lot of good app support and I know a lot of banking apps for example require you to be on the latest iOS version so it might just be time for you to finally upgrade your phone but if you still have an old iPhone 5s laying around consider using it maybe as like an old media device you can load some music on there I use Spotify on mine so it's always nice to be able to see the cover art on the lock screen and even though it didn't have the best battery life of most iPhones it was still considered to be one of my favorite iPhones of all time but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this where i basically use older iphones in 2022 let me know in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys on my next video